What is this? Hey Nerdies, it's Kathleen Ems here, and I live in Taiwan. I am an English tutor as my day job, and it's been a, it's been a challenge getting adjusted. Little things when you're living abroad can be quite difficult. And oh my god, all of my Taiwan videos, there's Taiwanese people saying that everyone here speaks English. Um, okay, for you, those of you who say that, I challenge you, go outside of Taipei. Taipei is fabulous. It's a big city. Yes, a lot of people speak English because there's so many tourists there, right? Uh, try Taoyen, or even better, Daoyen. Uh, go <laughs> away from Taipei, spend one day speaking nothing but English. Don't speak, don't speak any Chinese. Good luck. Uh, so yeah, it's my own fault. It's my own fault. Uh, people don't have to learn English. That is okay. And I understand you're supposed to learn English. And you're supposed to be good at English to get into college, but I don't care. You know, you don't have to like English. It's okay. So I am pretty sick. I have allergy problems that have just, they, they tend to be worse in the morning. Like they're really, really bad in the morning. Um, I get a cough and super sneezy and everything and it's been very difficult the last few days so I decided oh I need to see a doctor because I'm gonna go on vacation soon and one of my Taiwanese friends sends me a link or a map image of a doctor near me so I decided to go to this doctor I could not find them so I, my next plan was just to go to all the clinics nearby and, and just find one where someone speaks English. So I go in and I'm super nervous and I just go up to the receptionist and I'm like, hey, do any of you speak English? And they give me that panicked look that almost anyone that sees me walk through their door gets. <laughs> like anytime I walk through like a coffee shop or something, People just get this look on their face like, oh my god, I have to speak English. I don't want to speak English right now. And so they kind of like all look a little bit embarrassed. And I'm like so embarrassed for them and embarrassed for myself. And they're all like talking or whatever. They find one girl that speaks a little bit of English. I'm like, oh, thank god. And she, ex and she talks to me. She's like, hey, can I help you? And I say that, hey, I'm sick. Like, do you guys do that here? Do you do like medicine for sick people. She's like, yeah, we do that. And so I sit down and I, I begin to realize this isn't like a normal clinic. Uh, there's people in the hallway and they're getting needles stuck in them, like acupuncture. And they're just like out in the hallway with like needles like stuck in them. And uh, the whole place smells very strongly of medicine because they're literally like making the medicine right there in the shop. And so I wait two hours <laughs> because it's so crowded and there's only one doctor. And I finally sit down to see the doctor and she says, wow, like, I don't see too many Westerners going to Chinese medicine shops. And I'm like, oh, that's what this is? I start to realize, oh yeah, like this is an alternative medicine Chinese shop. They're really popular here. So like Chinese medicine is like, almost kind of like a mixture of medicine and kind of superstition. Like, it's very much a part of the culture here. You'll hear people say things like, oh, don't drink water that's too cold because it's bad for your body because you're a warm-blooded person. So I was like, well, I already waited two hours. I'm here, why not? I'm gonna try it. Uh, I actually have always wanted to go to a Chinese doctor um, or Chinese medicine doctor, so I was like, huh. So she gave me this medicine. <laughs> And um, I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, let me show you this. So, so she gave me this for my throat. I've seen this before. I hear it's really bitter and gross, but I'm gonna try it. What is this? It's like, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a cough drop, but it's like really strong. Oh man, what is this shit? <laughs> Ugh. The... <laughs> Ugh. Uh. What is this? Ew. What is this? <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna take the other one. I haven't taken it yet. She gave me like this, and I'm supposed to take this four times a day. What is this? Is this medicine? I don't. Like, please inform me. I like. I have no idea what this is and what's going on. I I've never been to a doctor like this before. I've never had an experience like. I don't usually see like people in the like lobby with needles sticking out of them. So I'm just like, this is this is all so new to me. Um, I guess I would. How am I supposed to take this? Am I supposed to put all this in my mouth? <laughs> Oh my god, why didn't they just put it in a pill? What is this? It smells like like uh, vitamins. What do I do? Why didn't they put it in a pill? Is this normal? Is this normal, Taiwan? What? Okay, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Okay, I got some water ready. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Whoa, what is that shit? Whoa. What is that? I feel like alive. I don't know if it's because I ate something really gross, but wow. So the doctor also said that my health problems were attributed to poor circulation. So she told me that I need to keep my nick warm and my ankles warm. I've never heard a doctor say anything like that to me before in my life. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go all out, dude. Like, if a Chinese doctor tells me that I need to keep warm, that I need to keep freaking warm because it's really rainy outside and, and, Oh, there's still a bra in this shirt. Let's put that over there. And you know, I need to like, I need to make sure that my neck is warm. I don't know how I'm gonna keep my ankles warm though. I don't know. How do I keep my ankles warm? Let me just, let me just get out these socks. I'll just get out these, get out these socks and just, I gotta listen to the doctor, okay? This is very important. I need to get better for my vacation in Vietnam. Let me just, I'm just gonna tie these around my ankles. Just try to keep, try to keep warm. That'll be good. Okay, more, more socks. More socks, more socks. I gotta take, I'm taking this so seriously, you guys. This is very serious. This is very important, okay? Uh, this, I gotta do this. <sighs> okay. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm ready to get better. Wish me luck. I should go. Seriously, don't get offended about this foreigner trying medicine. Just laugh with me. I'm weird, okay? Your culture's not weird. I'm weird. I love you. I should go. I really think they put drugs in this. I don't know what they put in it, but I, I'm weird. I'm loopy now, and I'm always loopy. I should go. <gasps> so soft. These guys are so calm, and 